the history of Mariamäen Palace. It started at the beginning of the 19th century when here on these grounds were a sugar factory. And uh, it did burn so well, so uh, they had a bankruptcy and after that the grounds were bought by a Russian uh, Earl, uh, Orlov Davidov. And he started to build here his summer palace. And it was very popular. He and his family spent all the summers here in Tallinn. They had a palace in St. Petersburg, of course, also. And uh, it, those, those nice times for the palace ended, of course, with the Russian Revolution. All of the Budovs, they escaped from the country. And here uh, we, we had, in the, in the, during the First Estonian Republic, a very popular restaurant and a dancing club, uh, Rivera Palais. Uh, in the end of the Republic, it was, uh, if I remember correctly, of 37, uh, the castle was bought by the Estonian government and we had an aviation school here. After the Second World War, uh, it used to be um, apartments, divided apartments. So people lived here and uh, finally government got it back again and we had a museum of revolution. And starting with the Second Estonian Republic, we have now Estonian History Museum, part of Estonian History Museum here. And what is Mariama History Center, who, which is also here? Uh, yes, we are very lucky that finally everything is in order. First, where we are now is Mariama Palace. Here we have a permanent exhibition, My Free Country. Uh, you can find here also a film museum, very nice and very popular among uh, public. Uh, then we have one more exhibition place and it's going to be opened in May. Uh, and here we are going to have an exhibition about Estonian pop music and pop music's history. Also we do have in the, in the park area the um, uh, Soviet Monuments exhibition, open air exhibition and a big playground for children and park of course. So there is a lot to do and see. What kind of exhibitions will the Mariamad Palace offer? Firstly, the brand new My Free Country and uh, this speaks about Estonian history during the last century. Uh, then we do have uh, in, the, in the Film Museum uh, Double One and uh, this exhibition is how the film is, how you, are, how you can do a film. So the process of uh, filmmaking and this is absolutely the same in Tallinn or in Hollywood or in Helsinki or in Paris. So it's not about Estonian film history, but how can you do that? Uh, so as I told in May, it's going to be about Estonian pop music. And we do have one building more in the old town, the Great Guild Hall, and there is about Estonian history past 11,000 years. What else Maria Mad Palace offers to the traveller? The good news are that finally we do have a restaurant and a cafe in our both museums, in Film Museum and here in Palace, because we didn't, uh, didn't have them and as the territory of the, of the History Centre is quite big, it's absolutely normal that people want to have a cup of coffee or a glass of wine or something, but no, it's the possibility. Children can, can play here right now, we are doing this interview in our Children's Centre and big playground also. And you can just walk. You don't need to go to the museum. You can just be here because it's a very nice area, beautiful views to Tallinn. And so I think it's, it's just a nice place to visit.